Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we're taking a look at something to uninstall those rogue programs in Windows that just will not go. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at uh, a program called Revo Uninstaller. Now this has come highly recommended, so I thought I'd give it a try. There is a piece of software on my machine which has been bugging me for literally years. Uh, we'll take a look at the computer shortly and you can see exactly the time and date that it was installed on and I just cannot get rid of it. It is from ASUS. Uh, ASUS software is pretty much renowned for being basically awful. They even include uninstallers for some of their software, so they obviously they knew there's a problem, but for some reason I just cannot get rid of the software and it's been bugging me for ages. I don't want to do a Windows fresh install. I've done all the usual things, such as go through the registry and remove files, folders, etc. etc. And I probably made it worse to be completely honest with you, but the whole point is it would not uninstall itself from the beginning. Anyway, let's go over to the computer and we'll uh, take a closer look. Okay, so here we are on my Windows desktop and I'm recording this in OBS, so there may be some bits which are uh, not shown for user account control, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, you get the general idea and obviously some things will be blurred out for privacy sake. First of all though, apps and features. So this is the application in question. So this is the ASUS Tough Gaming M3 mouse software, last installed on the 13th of the 10th, 2021. So yes, it's been uh, annoying me for over a year and a half almost. So yeah, it's pissing me off, I'll be honest with you. So click on the three dots, we've got the option to uninstall. Uh, this app will be uninstalled, blah, blah, blah. Click on uninstall. It would it came up with user account control and HTTP uninstall and kind of that's, that's it. It doesn't do anything else. So yeah, it's basically dead in the water. So that's, not a lot of use for me because I want to get rid of it, it's annoying me, I don't need it to be there. Now I have gone through the registry doing a search for all uh, tough related products, I've got rid of them all and it still is in there. I've tried various other things, Sea Cleaner, you name it, eventually it just reappears as ugly head. Even going into device manager, looking at old devices, hidden devices, it basically won't get rid of it. So somebody recommended to use the Revo uninstaller and ironically at the moment it's got a Happy Easter Day, 50% off, which is very nice, but we're not gonna spend money because uh, there's a free version and we don't wanna use the pro version. At least, hopefully we won't have to use the pro version. I'm really hoping that the uh, the free version will work. So let's head over to the downloads page and get rid of the Nagware. So there's three versions. There's a portable version of pro. There's also the Reboot Uninstaller Pro, the normal Windows installer version. There is actually a trial version as well. Although on the trial version, it's obviously not going to get rid of everything. It's just going to come up with a nagware saying, you now owe us $12.47 or $25, whatever the case may be. So anyway, we're going to go with the, um, the free download version. Or of course we can, if you want to, just go with the portable version, which we can install onto a USB stick. I'm going to go with just with the free download and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Download it to our desktop. There is our Revo setup. The user account control came up then, so obviously I've uh, had to remove that section from the video. Choose English as our installation language and accept the agreement and put it into its default locations, etc, etc, etc. Launch Revo and Installer, let's go. Let's see what this, uh, this bad boy can do. So it's going through now, it's doing a scan of the system. So let's scroll down through. Actually, I wonder if it's picking up anything else on here which I could do of getting rid of which would be actually quite useful also, but I can't see anything at the moment. But the one that we actually do want to get rid of is Tough Gaming M3. That son of a bitch just needs to go. So what we'll do is click on uninstall. And it says, are you sure you want to uninstall the selected program? I am very sure. I have a great deal of confidence that you're gonna get rid of it as well. Uh, you've got the option to make a system restore point. We won't bother doing that. And we will continue. I've got to the point where if it doesn't go, I'm going to do a fresh install anyway, I think. And scanning mode, safe, moderate, advanced. So let's we'll see what advanced offers us. Actually, it didn't really say, does it? Scanning mode, safe, moderate, advanced. Let's go with advanced. So I'm guessing this is doing a scan to see where the files are in the registry. And it's probably going to pick up the similar sort of things as I was previously. So we've got a key in HK current user software. All right, so... 
uninstall add. So there's uninstall installation information, various things there, icon. So it looks like actually the program itself possibly isn't actually installed anyway. It's just the uh, the icon and the installation information. So that's why it can't uninstall itself because the program actually isn't there anymore, judging by what is actually left over. So it's just basically found leftover registry items. So yep, the program's not there, it's just left remnants. So it's picked it up, so we can uh, select all, and we'll just choose delete. I think I selected all, yeah, I selected all, so delete. Are you sure you want to delete the selected items? Hell yes. And it's found some leftover bits and pieces, so parts of armory crate relevant to the tough gaming. So armory crate sucks, and I've removed it so many times and tried it again just to see if it works properly. So actually, I'm going to get rid of all that as well. We'll ditch that. Let's just get rid of all of that. And there we go. We'll click finish, or sorry, delete. Delete those selected items. And fingers crossed, that might have actually done it. I've got a sneaking suspicion, how do you know? Because it's not appearing here anymore. So let's close down the uninstaller. Close down that, and let's go into settings. And we'll go into apps. We're going to apps and features. We'll scroll down and hopefully it's gone. And yeah, it appears it's gone. Actually, after all this time, it has actually gone. That is actually moderately impressive. I'm very pleased with that this actually removed it. Okay, so there you go, all done and dusted. I'm very, very pleased that the ASUS Tough M3 gaming mouse software is finally gone on my PC, even though it appears that probably actually the software itself wasn't there, it was just remnants left behind. But that is often the way certain things on your system, uh, they just annoy you and it, the software made no real difference, but it was annoying to see it there and the fact that I couldn't actually get rid of it. But Revo Uninstaller came to the rescue and managed to get rid of it from the system. So yeah, I'm very, very pleased. If you know of any other software which you'd like us to check out or you find highly recommended and you think would be good for us to share with the viewers, let us know in the video description below. It would be very uh, useful to see that. And don't forget, obviously, links for anything that I've mentioned today for Revo software, uh, the paid and obviously the free versions will be linked in the video description if you want to download them for yourselves. Let me know of any programs that you can't uninstall also in the comment section below if you had that sort of problem before. I would also like to hear. There's some programs which are just uh, absolute nulls and Asus seems to be at the top of the tree. Anyway, that's enough for today. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.